All right, today we're gonna to take a look at my uh, laptop computer that I use. I've had it for a couple of years now, and it's my favorite laptop that I've owned for uh, to take with me when I'm traveling. So this is a MacBook Air. If you haven't seen one before, they're extremely thin and light and uh, portable. So this is what it looks like. On the outside here, there's this illuminated um, Apple sign. So when you open, the cover back, it's lit up. I'm not sure if you can see it, but that way um, looks really kind of futuristic. I don't know if all the Apple laptops do that, but this one does. Uh, this is the keyboard. The keyboard, um, it's really a soft touch, easy to um, press the buttons. You don't need to press them all the way down like those computers from the 80s and 90s, if you remember. This computer has a backlit um, keyboard. So let me see if I can show you. Let's see. So you might be able to see just a little bit how there's light coming from the back of these keys. Uh, this white line around it, that's the light coming out. So it kind of helps you see the keys if it's dimly lit in the room. Here is the screen. It has this little um, camera. So if you're going to be doing some FaceTime or maybe some video chat, um, you would use that, or you can use that little camera. I've never actually used it, so I don't know what the quality of the camera is like. On these particular keyboards, they have this pad that it uses a mouse. So you just move the mouse around like this, and then this is the left click. And then it has the right click as well. The power cord goes right here, as you can see, it's plugged in right now. It has the green light on, which means that the battery is fully charged. Once you remove the power source, the light goes off. If the battery were charging, then the light would actually be red. But since this battery is all the way charged, this lights up as green. On the side of the computer, this one here on the left is the power charging cord. This next uh, location is for the USB adapter. So if you're setting up extra memory or um, I'm not sure exactly what else you would use it for, but anything that needs a USB, you can connect here. There's another one on the other side, which we'll take a look at. And then this last hole here is for the earphones, if you're gonna be listening with earphones. That's it on this side. So on this side of the computer, there is a Looks like another USB uh, cord or USB input. This is for memory cards. So if you're gonna be uploading some photos or videos from an external memory card, you can insert it there. And this one, I'm not too sure. I've never actually used that before. So if you know, be sure to leave us a comment below and let us know. But yeah, I'm not sure what that is with the lightning strike on it. So here's the back of the laptop. It's a little scuffed up because again, I've had this computer for years. It's uh, held up pretty well. I haven't had any issues. If you're gonna be removing the, uh, something, the chips or the processors inside. So it looks like it's a star key. I think that's pretty typical for Apple computers. Okay, so if you're going to remove that, there's one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different screws that hold this together. This doesn't come with a computer. This is just a scuff. Um, it's on this aluminum siding. I'm not sure what you would call it. And let's see if we can focus in. This is the Apple notification you get on most of the Apple computers or products. Designed by Apple in California, assembled in China, and then other various little markings. I'm not sure what uh, what those are. But your serial number is right there on the right. You went ahead and opened the computer and this is what it looks like with the screen on. I just recently upgraded to um, Apple OS High Sierra. So this is the default picture that it comes with, um, which is the newest operating system. So as you can see up here on the top left, this is generally where you'll find information about your computer. So this is the operating system, High Sierra, MacBook Air, 13 inch, 2012. I'm filming this in 2017. So this computer is five years old. Uh, still works great for what I use it for. Um, I don't really do any video processing on this laptop, mostly just uh, emails, surfing the web, things like that. So I'm not sure um, if that if this memory at eight gigabytes can handle a lot of video editing. I, I've never actually used it. I use my iMac for that. And then up here on the top, you can see the little icons, battery charge, the date, the time. And down here, just like uh, most apples, once you swipe at the bottom, it has this little options that pop up, which show you, uh, different apps that you might be using or want to use with this computer. So yeah, those are the different apps that you have on the computer once you open up that toolbar and you can just kind of swipe over to the right. So this screen here, uh, it's one of the older Apple screens, but it still works great. Like I said, for what I need it for, uh, you can Press these two little buttons to dim the lights all the way down or turn it all the way up if you like it nice and bright, especially if you're working outside somewhere. So these computers do have access to the App Store. Uh, different companies will make various apps for the MacBook Air. If you want to find that out, you just go to Launchpad. Click on that, and then you'll go to the App Store, just like you would on a regular cell phone. Click on that, and then the App Store opens right up. Let you know what's available. You can search the App Store here on the right-hand corner, and then just look for any kind of apps that you may want on your particular computer. If you want to shut down your computer, it's uh, pretty easy. You just go up here again to the Apple sign, click on that, click on shut down, confirm that you want to shut down, and the computer shuts down really quick, as you can see. It's already off. So if you're wondering how big the computer is, uh, here's this. This is my portable Starbucks cup for reference. So that's how big it is compared to a Starbucks cup. I have the 13 inch MacBook Air. Uh, for me, this is perfect. It's really tiny. Um, I thought about getting the 11 inch just because it's smaller and lighter. I decided to go ahead and get the 13 inch. I felt like the 11 inch was a little too small for what I use it for, but this is basically the size of it. And then you can 
see the difference on the thickness of this computer. All right, so that is the MacBook Air. Um, if you have any questions, be sure to leave me a comment. Uh, be sure to click the description for more information. And uh, yeah, that's the MacBook Air. Hopefully you liked the video. If, uh, if you did, be sure to click thumbs up and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.